If we're trying to derive the formula for the area of a circle, we're going to start with something that we know. Right? What we know is we know how to find the area formula of rectangles, length times width. Now one of the easiest rectangles is a square, because the length and the width are the exact same thing. Now you might be looking at the circle saying, how am I going to fill this with squares? Uh, wouldn't there be weird overlaps and stuff that goes on the outside of the circle? And you'd be exactly right. Okay? But we're going to still give it a try. We're going to try and fill this thing with squares. And we're going to fill them with very unique squares. We know that this distance from the center of the circle to one of its edges is called a radius. And if I would take that radius and I were to extend it vertically, it would be the exact same length. That's again just the radius. Now you might look at that and, oh, it's not a square. Well, it would be a square if I extended the lines. This is something that we would call a radius square. Or a little bit more algebraically, we would call this r squared. Now you might look at the circle and think, how many of those radius squares could I fit inside of here? Well, without too much imagination, we can see that it would be four. One kind of in each quadrant of the circle. Now, this would lead us to believe that the area formula for a circle is four of these radius squares. Right? But you know that this is not exactly accurate because well, we've included this area, which is obviously not part of the circle. We've included this area, which is not part of the circle, and this area, and this area. So obviously, it's got to be a little bit less than four radius squares. Now, through our study of circles, you know that there's a very important number that is associated with circles in almost every single aspect. And that number is pi. You know that pi is approximately 3.1415 dot 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 dot. Now, you'll notice that this four radius squares is awfully close to three. And a little bit more than three. And in fact, what ends up happening is that there is just a few more than three radius squares in here, but less than four radius squares. So our formula ends up being, for the area of a circle, that there is pi, a little bit more than three of these radius squares inside of the circle. Some of you are going to want to write that as pi times r times r. And that would be the formula for the area of a circle.